Today we are taking a look at the top Pokemon cards under $50 that you must have in your collection. And starting off, we're going to start off with some Crown Zenith uh, with the Suicune V. And if we look at the chart here, obviously look at the artwork first, right? Stunning card. It's not really a surprise that it's on the list. Uh, super affordable. It's not the most difficult card to pull, but you know, at 20 bucks and it's been, it's down 27% over the last three months. And you're going to see a lot of the cards on this list. That's a common theme because I see them as having a good buying point. Now, well, most of the time on these charts, you're going to see that they've bottomed out or they've started to come back up a little bit, which kind of indicates that uh, their decline may be done and it might be a good time uh, to be picking up these cards. But the Suicune, come on, it's, it's kind of a no brainer um, to start off the list. And we're going to just go straight into the Raikou. And you can guess what the next one's going to be too. But just wanted to touch on this again. Under 20 bucks. This one's super stunning as well. The Legendary Dogs from Crown Zenith. I just think they need some attention. They're not that close to $50. So, you know, at 20 a pop, you can almost get all three of them for around 50 um, Depending on where you pick them up. But super cool set to have. Um, I wanted to include all of them because they're kind of a trio. I think that if you're going to collect them, you have to have all three. So, similar chart uh, on the Raikou here. It's going to be a common theme, but we'll jump over to the Entei as well. The Entei has dropped even more, 30%, but as you guys can see, it, it bottomed out, and it's kind of bouncing back a little bit. It was at 17 now it's back up to around 18 bucks. So, the Entei, there you go. Same thing. Um, yeah, pick up all three of those. I think those, those are a good, uh, great set to have in your collection. Next up, we're going to take a look at uh, Umbreon V. Now, if we look at this chart, this is from the Brilliant Stars Trainer Gallery, and I'll talk about why this card is on the list. One, I actually do, I would like the artwork. I really like all the cards with the trainers in them too, but uh, I like this artwork a lot, and I think it's it's a great looking card. And then the chart, you can see, you know, it had its run up when all those alt arts, you know, had it had its run up in about May there. It was about 50 bucks and it's come down quite a bit at around 22 so you can see the decline 30 percent not really that much over the last month so kind of seems like it's done doing its decline but the reason that i'm taking a look at this card and the next card is just because they're very affordable and we're kind of going off the moonbrion hype you know that's a lot of the reason why this card and the next card that you're going to see they ran up just because they're modern Umbreon cards, so they're going to do, you know, what the what the Moonbreon does. So I think if you get those lesser Umbreons, that they're going to do really well for you in your collection, and they're just super cool to have. Not everyone can afford the Moonbreon, so, you know, these are kind of the next best things, uh, minus the other uh, Umbreon V from Evolving. You know, that one's a little bit more expensive, so didn't make the, uh, the $50 price cut there. But next up here, Umbreon VMAX, same thing, Brilliant Stars Trainer Gallery similar chart right down 20 percent you can see it bottoming out here and actually starting to rise up again so once again indicates a good buying point super cool card i do like the v max cards uh, a lot if i had to pick between the two I, I do like the v a little bit better uh but the v max is very cool as well just a personal preference thing so yeah you could pick up uh the pair of these for just over 50 so another one that's kind of like a little set there and I think this is, you know, great, great cards for anybody's collection there. Next up is the Celebi V. Now this card, this is from Fusion Strike, which Fusion Strike boxes are very expensive right now, as you know. And this is a legendary. So I'm still, still shocked that like this card is so affordable. And I love the artwork personally. I like the colors. It's got like all the dark, but then the Celebi and the trees all green. Stunning card. I just picked this one up recently. So uh, I'm super big fan you can see 30 bucks it's kind of declining still a tiny bit so if you're looking you might want to wait a little bit but i wouldn't be too worried you're kind of looking at cents there from 30 to 29.50 so uh in my opinion i mean i bought it i just recently bought it so um i put my money where my mouth is on most of it. i have most of these cards on this list um not all of them some of them i'm still chasing but uh I just think legendary from a great set sub 30 bucks like are you kidding me super great card uh yeah and i'm a sucker for the artwork so also like this uh this big tree in the background 
I don't know why. But anyways, <clears throat> super cool card. Uh, next up, the Tyranitar. This is from Paldea Evolved. Now, this card, I think, has a, a it's same pattern, right? Down 20%, hit its bottom, and it's coming back up a little. But this card, I do feel, has a lot of room to run still because, one, it's in Paldea, which is a super strong set from the Scarlet and Violet era, and the Pokemon is awesome, and the Pokemon in the background. I like cards that have Pokemon in the background. I don't know why. Just kind of drawn to them. Love the artwork, love the style. But I think that this card has a lot of room to run. If we pull up the one-year chart, you know, it's obviously not at its one-year high, but uh, I could see this kind of following the, the Groudon route, and we'll be touching on that card later, spoiler, but I, I think that it falls in a very similar um, category as the Groudon. Next up, uh, another card from Fusion Strike. Not the strongest artwork style, in my opinion, but like I said, I'm really a sucker for cards that have other Pokemon in the background and strong set popular Pokemon with Mew still honestly this is just one of those ones where I started looking at it like how far it's come down and when it was at its high you know it was at like almost 60 bucks and that seems more about right like this should be like a $50 card uh, around that range in my opinion and the fact that you can pick this up for 35 just seems crazy to me so that's why this card made the list legendary pokemon great set uh yeah bottoming out on the rise so uh mu v alt art from fusion strike super solid pickup be great for your collection uh next up is a card we've we've talked about quite a bit but i almost didn't put it on the list but it deserved to be here the zapdos from 151 now this card is going to buck the trend because it's on the uptick now for with with all the restocking and reprint rumors and everything with 151 this may be one that you may want to hold off on but this card is way too good i still don't understand how it is sub 40 dollars even though we're right at that 40 dollar range we'll call it 40 i don't understand how this card is 40 bucks zapdos moltres articuno all in one card amazingly stunning and you know it's not that easy to hit it's pretty can be a pretty rough card to pull so uh this card i just feel like it's, i'm gonna give it attention whenever i can so uh zapdos from 151 kind of a no-brainer uh in my opinion yeah you gotta you gotta have this card in your collection three legendaries in one card it's stunning next up we have we're going back to crown zenith a lot of crown zenith on this list but these cards these are the golds um two of them we got the Dialga and the Palki we're going to talk about in a second. Same chart, right? Starting to bottom out, down 23%. But these cards are like the ultimate gold cards uh, with the with the Giratina and stuff. These pictures do not do it justice. Once you see these in person, they are absolutely stunning. So if you have these gold cards in your collection, obviously you'd want to go for the set of four. But for the purpose of this video, you know, at 44 bucks, you're sub 50. Uh, I think these are really great pickups. Crown Zenith, uh, you know, is getting, uh, there's a lot of product available now, especially with the Sam's Club boxes coming out, so these cards might still have room to come down as more singles are pulled and, you know, they're released to the market, so you do have to keep that in mind. Maybe wait a little bit longer just because of how much more Crown Zenith product is still coming in, but even so, I think at these price points, I still think they're great pickups. We'll take a look at the Palkia, um, similar Similar chart here, 45 bucks though, down 34% on the three month. Uh, one month chart, you know, still still a little bit of decline. Five months, or 5%, sorry. And it's technically on a little bit of an uptick. So um, that's the Palkia. They kind of, once again, I, I didn't realize how many kind of like sets I was forming here with the uh, legendary dogs, the Umbreon, and the golds, like, so a lot of sets uh, kind of. So if you compare these, work well together next up we have starmie v from astral i just touched on this in a recent video as well because i just picked up this card uh and it's just barely under that 50 dollar range but i wanted to give it some more attention just because the uh, english voice actor for misty just recently passed away and i got this card and the more i look at it i think it's super stunning i think it's a really great card and yeah i just wanted to give it some more attention the fact that you can pick this up for sub 50 super cool 
you know, it's a trainer gallery, so it's not quite as rare, but I like seeing this card. Um, it's, it's great for your collection. It's kind of like a must have, in my opinion. Um, on the run up, it was up to 67. So there is room for this to, uh, you know, eclipse this one year high at some point. So uh, Starmy V, must have for your collection, in my opinion. Next up, we have. Now, this is. I don't know if this is going to be on everybody's list. This is the Galarian Zapdos from Chilling Rain, the alt art. And this one just barely made it. It's just 49 bucks, right? And this is the cheapest of the uh, Galarian version of the Legendary Birds from this set. It's the cheapest, right? And I actually, I think a lot of people don't like this version of Zapdos, but me personally, I actually really like it. I like the, like, the non-flying running version. I don't know why. I just like it. Um, I love this artwork, how he's running up the hill. I just think it's super cool. A little bit underrated with where the Moltres and the Articuno are at. I think that this card has room to run, so that's why I'm thinking sub-50. This is a, definitely a pickup, in my opinion. Similarly, you know, it was up at 60 bucks, and it's down around just sub-50, so uh, room for this card to run in the future as well. Next up, uh, we've talked about this card on the channel before. I do think that you kind of can't go wrong with any Gardevoir, just because of the popularity of the Pokemon. But from Paldean Fates, another one that just squeaked in, like, just barely under 50, so I really wanted to include it on the list. It's not on as much of a decline, because it's from a newer set, but if we pull up the one year, it did come out of the gate at 60-68, somewhere around there, so. Uh, and it kind of looks like it's bottomed out and it's holding strong there, so. Uh, just a very cool looking card popular Pokemon. Don't think you can go wrong. All right. And then we have two cards left on the list. Uh, next up we have, now this is, I don't know how unpopular of a choice this is, but another card from Chilling Rain, just under 50 bucks at 49.10, the Galarian Rapidash. I included this card because one, when you have it in person, I do own this card. I bought this actually uh, for my wife, her favorite Pokemon is Ponyta and Rapidash, so um, picked this up for her, and once I got it in my hand, I was like, this is a great looking card. Ponyta and Rap uh, Rapidash, I don't think gets uh, enough credit, enough cool cards, in my opinion. So, wanted to give Rapidash some love. Uh, if we pull up the one year, it was up to around 66, and it seems to be bottoming out around this $48 range. So, once again room to run in the future so definitely uh, some room there but just under 50 bucks there now the last card i mentioned earlier the groudon now this card from paradox rift i think paradox i've talked about it before as a set super underrated huge irs which means this card's hard to pull and this card is amazing amazing legendary amazing artwork i think that this card has room to run as Parado if Paradox ever gets its due. Pull up the one-year chart here. It was higher. It was up to 64, and it's just under 50 now. So I think that long-term that this card can do very well just because the, I think the set's kind of holding it back for some reason. I don't, I don't understand why people don't like Paradox, but once those boxes start to come up, it's with, the, with a lot of these sets, or some of them, not a lot of them, but some of them, like Paradox, People, um, they kind of just don't like them because there's not as much like monetary value. And, and it happens all the time. We see it with um, Fusion Strike was a great example from the last generation. Uh, if you go back, Fusion Strike wasn't really very well liked at all. Um, people kind of crapped on it, if I'm being honest. Back when it first came out, once the box prices started to go crazy and that Gengar started to go crazy people were like oh fusion strikes great and it's just human nature we chase the money so um if par the paradox boxes start taking off people are going to flock to start flocking to the cards and Groudon's going to be one to take advantage of that so um yeah that's pretty much it that is going to do it for this one guys um if you're this far in the video and you're not already subscribed obviously you enjoyed the content so do me a huge favor go down below hit the subscribe button hit the like button leave me a comment let me know what cards uh that are sub 50 i left off the list that you uh, would have liked to have seen and yeah, I do daily Pokemon collecting and investing content, so appreciate you guys stopping by, and yeah, that is going to do it for this one. I'll catch you guys in the next one, and remember, it was never a phase.